Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make something spawn. It's called Happy Flower. And basically what we're doing is creating bees that will come out of a flower and either um, fly away left or fly away right. So you're going to be creating your own flower, your own bee. Here's my finished code. And then I will walk you through how to do the code. It's pretty easy. There are just a couple tricky parts, but it should be a pretty easy code for you to write. So we're going to start off under the tutorials where it says happy flower and click start tutorial. All right, here we go. Starting the tutorial. So you can see there's bees coming out of a flower in the center. They're just spawning. Like when you're playing video games and like zombies come out of nowhere, they don't come out of nowhere. They are designed to do that. So first thing we're going to do, go to sprites, pull out set my sprite to put it on start. And then here we're going to drag a, um, make a picture of a flower. So I want to do this quickly so my flower is not going to be super cool and great. I'm just doing a quick one for this tutorial. Put a red center and some leaves at the bottom. Okay, so that's just my quick flower. All right, we'll say it's done. Um, also, drag in a set background color from scene, and we're going to set it to a light blue. All right, there we go. Next, find update every 500 milliseconds in game. Drag it onto the workspace. Set the time to a thousand, which is one second. Thousand milliseconds, one second. Um, find set project projectile to projectile from my sprite and sprites. So it sets my projectile to projectile. Put it on update game every 1000 milliseconds. There we go. Click on the gray box and projectile and make a nice little B. All right, so my little B guy is going to be yellow. And then I'll have to do some black stripes. And again, this is just quick. Your B will probably be much cuter than mine. Oh, some stripes are crooked there. That's okay. And then I'll just have a little B face here. Okay, we'll say I'm done with the B. All right, our nice little B. Next, go to pick random number. That's going to be found in math. Pick random number, put it in the VX slot of projectile and change it from 0 to negative 25. It's already 0, so I'm going to make it negative 25. Oh, I wrote that wrong. Change the 0 to negative 25 and the 10 to 25. My bad. Duplicate the pick random number, negative 25 to 25. So I click it, duplicate it, and put it in the VY slot. Okay. Next it says find the set my sprite X to 0 in sprites and place it after set projectile 2. So from sprites, set my sprite to X. Set it after set projectiles 2. Oops, I need to slide over. Change my sprite to projectile. There it is. Change X to lifespan. There it is. And set zero to 3000. All right, our little bee is going to live for three seconds, it looks like. Congratulations, your happy little flower is complete. Yep, if I look over here on my emulator, my happy little flower is making some happy little bees. If you want to try something extra, you can have some of the bees fly off facing in the opposite direction. Okay, good. So then they won't be flying backwards. Set up a condition to change the image of the bee when it flies off toward the left. Get an if then out of logic and put it after set projectile lifespan. All right. Set projectile lifespan now has if true then. Replace the true condition with a zero less than zero. Zero less than zero. Okay. Put a my sprite x where the first zero is, okay? Go into sprites, my sprite x. Put it, oops, I didn't grab the whole thing. Put it in the first zero. 
change my sprites to projectile. That's the B. The B is the projectile. And change the X to VX velocity X. Alright. VX velocity X. Alright, next. Go to the toolbox and advanced. Okay. Scroll down to images. Find flip picture horizontally. Pull it out and place it inside the if then. Now back in sprites, get a my sprite image and drop it over picture. Alright, my sprite image. Drop it over picture. Oops, I didn't grab the whole thing again. Okay. So flip my sprite image horizontally and change the my sprite to projectile because the projectile is my B. Alright, now we have bees flying away happily in both directions. So I can finish it. I want to double check it on my emulator. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and put my name here. And I'm going to publish it. Now I can copy that link, paste it into Canvas, and let's see what I've got. Okay, there's my happy little flower and happy little bees flying off left and right, not even backwards. Alright, have fun making your bee and your flower.